Do you need an apartment? Do you need a new place to live? Chances are, sometime in your life, you will have to find an apartment or a new place to live. It is not an easy thing to do, especially in English, so I'm here to help you. Um, I will go through some terms that might make it easier for you to find an apartment or a condo or a place to live in a foreign country. Um, I'm going to teach you this lesson, and I need to tell you that this is for Canada and America. In the UK, they will use different vocabulary. So this is exclusively for North Americans. Welcome. Renting an apartment. The very first thing that you're going to want to inquire about or ask about is rent. You want to know how much the place is per month. So you can just ask them. Well, you don't need to ask them. They usually write it down if you're looking on the internet or in a paper and they tell you how much the rent is per month. So please be aware that this is per month, not for one year, which would be nice. So in Toronto, it's very expensive. The rent is very expensive depending on the area. So typical rent may be $1,200 per month, not a year, okay? They may want you to sign a lease. Basically, signing a lease is a contract. It guarantees that you will live in this apartment for a specified time. Leases are usually one year. So this is you are guaranteeing the person you will stay in this apartment for one year. You can also have six months leases or three months. Some places do not require a lease. I would recommend this if you're coming to Canada or to America for a short time. Try and get one that is not with a lease. So lease, remember, is a contract. And it's a legal contract. With the rent, they will probably ask you to pay what we call in Canada and America first and last. First and last means you must give them the first month's rent, that say example is $1,200, and when you move into the apartment, you must pay them last month's rent, which is $1,200. So in your very, very first month, you must give them math time, $2,400. What this does is it guarantees you, or guarantees the owner, that last month's rent is already paid. So if you only stay for one month, you've paid for two. So they want you to stay for two months, at least. Okay, so they will say first and last required. Another thing they may ask you for is a deposit. Because there are so many apartments, so many people looking for an apartment, if you are interested in a, an apartment and it's very popular, they may ask you to put down a deposit to save your apartment. A deposit is a small amount of money, or a big amount, depending on the place, that saves or reserves your apartment for you. So if your rent was $1,200, maybe they will ask you for a deposit of $200. Now, if they do this, please get a receipt because you don't want the person to take your money. You don't want to go back and they go, oh, I don't know where your money went. Make sure you get a signed piece of paper called a receipt that shows how much you paid with your name, the amount, and the person's name. Very important. A very, very huge development has happened in especially Toronto. There are these things called condominiums. We never take the time to say condominium it's too long what we say is condo so you can say 
I'd like to rent a condo. Or I'd like to rent an apartment. Does anyone know the difference between condo and apartment? People think that a condo means it's beautiful and there's a swimming pool and a gym and heaven. No, a condo simply means that you have to buy the unit. With an apartment, you are going to rent the unit. So a condo is like buying a house, except it's in a building. Okay. The other thing that you can do is you can rent someone's condo. So for example, if I had a condo, I don't, and I was going traveling for six months, what I would do is I would put an ad in the paper and I would try and rent my condo to someone so I can make money when I'm away. So you might get a chance to actually live in a condo. It just means that someone's bought it and it's not rented. It's probably newer, and maybe the quality is not as good. Please check it out. So condo versus apartment, the only difference is a condo is bought. Someone has purchased it, and they keep it forever until they sell it. Maybe you don't want to live in an apartment by yourself. You can rent a room. Not room share. We do not say room share. It's not an English word. We do not say, I live in room share. No, you don't. You rent a room. We do not have one easy English word for this. If you rent a room, this usually means that there's a big house and you actually rent one bedroom. You will share the kitchen. Maybe you will share the bathroom or you will share nothing except your room. No, you're not going to share your room. That's ridiculous. So rent a room means you are renting a bedroom in a house where you share the other rooms, bathroom, kitchen, and living area. If you like to do this, where did I go? You may have a roommate or a housemate. Now, the difference between a roommate and a housemate mm, doesn't really matter that much. But in the true form, a roommate is someone who lives in the same room as you, and a housemate would be someone who lives in the same house. So if you rent a room and there's six other renters, they would be your housemates. If you live in an apartment with two rooms, you would have a roommate. The very next thing and the last thing that you have to know about renting an apartment is what size of apartment you want to get. In Canada, we have a bachelor or a studio. This means it's tiny. It's very small. A bachelor or a studio apartment does not have a separate bedroom. It means that your living, sleeping, and eating are all done in one room. Or you could eat in the bathroom, that's your choice. But you will have, with your bachelor or studio, your own bathroom. You do not share a bathroom. Yes. The next step up is a junior one bedroom. Now a junior one bedroom has one bedroom and a small living space. So this is really good if you have a lot of shoes. So you can put all your shoes into one room. A bachelor studio is good if it's only for you and you don't have a lot of things like furniture or books. If you want a bigger place, you're going to get a one bedroom. A one bedroom is bigger than the junior one bedroom. Junior means small. And there's one bedroom in a bigger living space. Some condos now advertise a one bedroom plus a den. Are there bears? No. A den means a very tiny room. It can be used as an office, or it can be used as a TV room or an entertainment room. Um, some people also can change this into a very tiny bedroom. So if you and your friend wanted to rent a condo, you could get a one bedroom plus den. One of you would have a small room, the other one big. And then we move up, two bedroom and a three bedroom. 
It's rare to see a four bedroom, but stranger things have happened. If you need help renting an apartment, it's great to ask your friend. Maybe your friend has a place for you or knows of an apartment for rent. You can use the internet and you can check the newspaper. The way that I found my apartment is I walked around <gasps> and I saw a building that had a sign that said vacancy. On the vacancy sign, there's no E. It tells you what kind of apartment is available. So my, my apartment building said vacancy bachelor. So I went, I spoke to the landlord and I got a place to live. I hope you get a place to live. Bye.